At 18.30 on the day before the accident, the tank number 2 was isolated for the quality tests and rundown was transferred to the tank number 1. After about half an hour, the quality of product in tank number 2 was confirmed by the laboratory, but since the level of propane liquid in tank number 1 had not reached 50%, transfer operation to the main tank did not start. Four hours after shift change at 11 a.m., the operation of product transfer from tank number 2 to the main reservoir began. And when the liquid level in tank number 2 reached 25%, the operation was stopped. But product transfer to tank number 1 continued and transmitter still showed the liquid level in tank number 1 less than 65% at the end of the day shift and after 25 hours of loading. Wind shift changed and around 19.30, site operator warned the control room as he heard unusual compressor noise. Immediately, the senior operator and area supervisor attended the place and after evaluating the conditions and observing that the wall of suction pipe was frozen, they estimate that tank number one had overflowed. The senior operator immediately started unloading the first compressor and lowering the second compressor operation. Since the compressor did not have sufficient capacity to return the gas flow, area supervisor together with the exploitation operator went to the tanks and brought down the set point of PCVs so that vaporized propane gas went to the floor instead of compressors. Then they changed the operation of product transfer from tank number 1 to tank number 2 and opened the route between the two tanks. Then they left the place as they suddenly heard a loud noise and noticed gas release from rupture spots in the flare line. Propane emitted from the rupture spot and explosive vapor cloud was formed quickly. The winds moved the cloud to the combustion engines of compressors as the source of heat and caused the gas to flame. And then... A sudden explosion of vapor cloud happened. Senior operator who was close to the compressors was tossed by the blast wave. But after a short while, he became conscious and reported the fire despite being severely burned. Then, he left the place. The fire at flare line next to the main loading tank, which was initially very intensive, heated the two daily tanks, which had the same liquid level after the connecting line between them was opened. This increased vaporization of collected liquid propane, and after a few minutes, safety valves acted. As a result, their safety hatches ruptured and let the output gas to flame. 